I'm not gonna lie, there were times when I come home at night and I, I really miss finding you with your head buried in a medical tome somewhere and, and Violet with her whole tea set all laid out, just waiting. The three of us together, you know, that was a really lovely time in my life. It was really nice. Ours too. I have to say, though, you know, I used to have this underlying tension. Just like, uh, I felt like I was running to stand still because I wanted to give you and Violet all my love and attention, but then still reserve a little emotional bandwidth so I could do my work. But there were times that I just, I was really stretched thin. And I, and I, I couldn't give you both what you needed. You did the best you could. No, sometimes my best wasn't good enough. I know that. And I'm sorry. But, you know, the upside of being alone is that I do get to devote all of my time to finding Peter and bringing Maxie home while not worrying that I'm, I'm neglecting you. Both of you. There's a, there's a kind of odd satisfaction, isn't there, in just pouring yourself into what you do well. It's kind of like Finding your power, in a way. Oh, God. We both know that I'm a terrible muddle at relationships. <laughs> but I think that I'm a damn good spy. You are. And I'm going to use all of my expertise to... to just clear up this mess that I've made here. Hey, don't do that to yourself. Peter's mess is his and no one else's. No. This all started because I believed in his redemption. And that was 